Hi, it is 4.30. I've been at this since 8.30 this morning. Um, ADD happens. Uh, one thing led to another. I ended up, you know, fixing my desk because it was falling apart. It's second hand, you know. And then while I was there fixing it, okay, duct taping it together. <laughs> um, yeah. Red green, you know, you you knew what you talk about, dude. Um, I decided to clean out the inside and just reorganize that, and then it was lunch and blah blah blah. And stuff got you know cleaned, reorganized, and now we're here. But I started this at eight thirty this morning. Why? Because this I was going through my um everyday Facebook stuff, and this article came up. No. I have digestive problems. I have, you know, allergens and stuff. And I have a lot of friends who also have, like, allergens and stuff. So I was like, oh, maybe this is important. Like, let me read this. So I did. And I, I got notes. And, um, again, the title of it. Let's see if you can get it there. This common household additive could lead to bowel irritation. That got my attention. And then it says, check the labels on your hand sanitizers, soap and toothpaste for Trisoclan. I think that's how you say it. A product linked to gut troubles. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I kept reading. And then I kept reading and I was like, Whoa. and it says in the article, I'll link it below. Toothpaste, shaving cream, all those things that you can find this stuff in. 75% of liquid soaps and 29% of bar soaps complain, contain triclosan. It's even in HVAC coolers and antimicrobial socks. And Okay, first of all, if it's in your HVAC cooler system, you ain't touching it. Because I did read up on it and it's only dangerous if it comes into contact with your skin. And H the coolant stuff is all... So, there's my title. It's not fake news. It, it's real, but it's extremely over-exaggerated. Because, yes, that's what I did. That's why I got caught up and did a bazillion things, because I went through my whole house, and I was like, I need to find all this stuff that has these things and educate people and help somebody learn. This is what I found. So, I went through all my household stuff. Because there was a, I looked it up because I'm a nerd. And, um, you know, I had this whole list of like 257 items that could, that contains this stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. You know, this is a bad thing. I need to educate people. Okay. Out of all of the stuff in my house. And if anybody knows me and following stuff, I have a lot of stuff. I found one right there. That toothpaste, that Colgate Total toothpaste has that Trisoclan or Triclosan, whatever the heck it is. The Dollar Store crest does not. This other crest does not. And it, it mentioned antimicrobial anti hand soap because this is what this stuff is for. To fight microbes. I looked in my shampoos. And this is the awesome. I love this. Um, there's nothing bad in this at all. But it makes you smell like a cupcake. That's awesome. You know, But cleaning. Oil. Body oil. Micellar oil. Nope. None in there. They mention shave gels a lot. Pfft, none in there. Obviously I don't use that much. Because it's really old. Um, you know. Face stuff. Then I even went to, does not in there. Dawn, however, the antimicrobial one, so that also doubles as a hand soap, it does have it. But all the other Dawns do not. All of my body stuff, all of my shampoos, nope. None of them contain it. And think, think my glowing stars. That, you know, my glitter face scrub does not have any. And neither does my new stuff. Okay, this 
this it's from New Zealand again I got it at Winners wish I would have gotten a second one but it's really good it's really been helping my acne um, but anyway but then I, I actually looked at, at this it's a bottle of hand sanitizer it does not have any either this whole article made me freak out and jump up and think that my whole house was infected with this stuff, this additive that was like making me sick and maybe I've been on this diet and you know, whatever. Nope, 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 none of my stuff. Only one out of everything in my house. And to be certain on top of that, of course my Ren Pure doesn't, it's totally organic. None of those other soaps that were in my shower no laundry detergent bounce no not even dove soap and does list bar soaps nope it does not have any so what i did learn however is that a lot of products don't actually have their ingredients on them you have to look it up and if it gets really hot in your apartment um yeah that's what happens to antimicrobial sanitizer gel in terms of water but so yes a lot of things actually surprisingly don't have their ingredients on them you have to look them up on the internet is that good or bad i mean i don't know most people have access to the internet these days actually for those of you who aren't aware let me share something because this has to do with our uh, mental health I'm not really s spilling secrets. It's just, again, information is really hard to find. So again, it is a right in Canada to have internet, but it costs a lot of money. And I don't know about all the other companies. I've never looked into it. But I do know that Rogers offers this. You can have a 5 megabyte speed, which isn't very fast, however... If it's for the purposes of online banking, and even Facebook will work for that with that speed. You can't stream videos or anything. And I, there is a limit to your usage, and I think it's something like 20 gigs a month or something. I don't know. Um, you can get that connection for $5 a month. Did you know that? However, you have to qualify, and... Um, it's not that it's hard to qualify if you're the type of person that can't afford it and you have to have reasons like, you know, being on disability is one. In my case, I still manage to afford it. So that's not something. And I do need, you know, internet at like high speed and whatnot. But let's just say, you know, you're struggling and you don't have a lot of money and for $5 a month, you can get a five megabyte speed per second connection with Rogers with Limited usage, I mean, you, again, you can't download things, but it can give you access to Facebook. It can give you access to, you know, online news. It can give you access to, like, the weather and emails, which is important these days. And banking. Yeah, a lot of banking is done online. So for those of you who don't know about it, and it's something you think you qualify for, call them, ask them. It, it's there. It's just a hidden thing that they don't like to offer because they obviously, they don't really make money off of it. Uh, the, as for the other companies, I'm not sure. I've, I've only heard it from them. However, other companies might have it. I don't know. And it might be more than $5 because I haven't worked um, in the internet industry for at least three years now. So, um, but it is a really, really low price and it is something that exists. So, yeah, there's my tip. Um, if you think you're in need of it, again, call Rogers and ask. So, since I'm on this subject of things in your house, I am going to explain a few things. So, yeah, I have all these things that said aluminum on them. This is what I use for Dior right now. It's um, a crystal thing. So, there's a difference between a deodorant and an antiperspirant. A deodorant just stops you from smelling bad. An antiperspirant, however, stops you from sweating, or it's supposed to. In my case, it never worked, okay? I just sweat too much. 
any of you that's watched anything here knows my nose even sweats. My face sweats, okay? So they all contain aluminum something, whatever. Um, oops. And it, it's been linked scientifically to cognitive difficulties and Alzheimer's. I don't want that. I already have enough bad things in my life. Besides, none of those things you see in front of me, and some of them are clinical strength, actually worked. I was still sweating anyway. So I just gave up on it and went the natural way. And no one's ever told me that I stink. And um, I'm, I'm inclined to believe them because, well, a lot of people don't like me and they would have told me by now if I did. So that's that. Um, these crystals are, they last for a very long time. You just wet the top part. You can get them at Walmart, any pharmacy. They're about 3 or $4 for this and it lasts a really long time. So that's a very good thing. Now the next thing that I noticed is that some ingredients, now this one says soy straight up on it. And yes, it's an old thing that my mom gave me a long time ago. Um, I do have um, an allergy or an intolerance to soy. That's one of the things that's a trigger in my diet. And I've heard um, Tati, so I'll link her below. Nobody knows who she is. She's funny as ever. Um, she also has, um, I think she has celiac. I don't know quite, and but she has a... A soy issue and a gluten issue and for her beauty products that contain soy really affect her skin and whatnot and I haven't used these particular ones in a while and my skin's gotten a lot better so I'm gonna go with the same thought that if the inside of my body does not like soy products the outside probably doesn't either so more label reading for me anyway and then I, I read these other labels. And um, I just thought I'd share it. Can you read that? Horse fat. That is one of the ingredients in this little cute, very nice smelling um, Jean Coutu brand hand cream. Horse fat. Now that definitely ain't vegan. Don't tell me that much. But whatever those worst things. Because then you come to this one. Because, again, I went through, I, I pulled everything out. Because I thought that it wasn't everything. It, it is not. It, it is only in one thing. One thing. Anyway. This one, it just says what? These ingredients. Now, let me read them. Because they make no sense. There's so many of them there. So there's water. Glycerin. Things I can't even say. Niacinamide, petroleum, isopropyl, isotate. Caprolytic topics as okay, and you're talking to a chemistry nerd here. Okay, I still like chemistry now for the fun of it, and I can actually read Wikipedia stuff about medications and whatnot and understand the polymer chains and the whatever. And these words make no sense to me, these are too many chemicals because every single one of these things are chemicals to give me some kind of hydration. Um, no. It's going in the garbage. Don't need that. And while we're on the chemical things, this is something that I have recently noticed that bothers me. This thing called parabens. Parabens is in a lot, a lot of beauty products. It is a form of preservatives that keep anything that's emollient so emollient means like jelly fluid stuff that you can you know like like a cream a cream is the definition of what an emollient is now this particular one again that makes me smell like cupcakes i love this stuff um doesn't have any see it parabens free now i have to go through a lot of the other stuff i have that have parabens and I'm going to be doing a big cleanup and um, getting things away uh, I mean yeah they kicked me out of all the paid forwards because I don't think paid forward is supposed to be used to refurnish your house all over again when you move you should try to move your things 
And yes, it's a good thing. There are some people out there that are down on their luck and they need it. Have I gotten things? Yes. Have I given things? Oh, even more. Only to, you know, I have found some people selling them. The things they asked for, they were selling them. And nobody cares. And I shouldn't say that, actually. There's a whole other part of of a thread on Facebook where hundreds of people in the city of Moncton are talking about how, you know, the paid forward people take advantage. And I, I do want to give back, though. You know, I don't have much. But when I have something too much of, like, you know, obviously I have too much soap, okay? I only have one body. I'm never going to use all this body soap. But trying to give it away, it's complicated. I get the rudest messages that makes me feel uncomfortable. They're like, yeah, can I get your ad? I was like, what? Are you asking for my address? And her answer was like, yeah. Why a? I was like, uh, I don't feel comfortable with this, you know? I don't want just some random people showing up at my door. I don't want people knowing where I live. There's a reason I don't want people to know where I live. But anyway, I have recently discovered that I can bring it to the mental health. And they have a, a little bin of things for people who are down on their luck, who are mental health clients. So from now on, that's where all my extras are going to go. So if you happen to be um, a mental health client on the fourth floor, because, you know, the French people only need... Okay, I'm not going to go there. That's mean, but it's, it's true. The French part of the mental health here in Moncton has half a floor. The English section has two floors. I'm not going to go any further than that. I, It's going to start a discussion, but that's a fact. It's not an opinion. So if you're someone that goes to the fourth floor and you're in need of certain things, ask. Because a lot of these things are ending up there. And so is a lot of the makeup that I don't use anymore or that I'm getting too much of or, or whatnot. And um, yeah. But um, this glitter is staying with me. And this rosehip oil stuff, oh yes. A rosehip oil in any form is actually really good. I've only recently learned that for acne and acne scars. And it's really been making a difference to the point that I'm actually seeing the scars now, no longer like the bumps and stuff. And it's, it's weird. Uh, but again, I really like this brand a lot. And I might actually splurge and like buy it from New Zealand. Because that's where it's from. I know. Alright. That was me trying to educate. And then realize there was nothing to educate about. Unfortunately, I think this is the future. Of. News. It's not necessarily fake news. It's just over exaggerated. Okay, so quickly, I, this is the end part, but, wow. Anyway, I've been having some problems with, like, the power supply. Um, yeah, I made it up, and it, it works. It's just that if you touch it a little bit, it turns off. I, I broke wires in it, and let's see if it's going to show down there. So that's where all my wires are. And I tend to accidentally roll over them with my chair. I mean, I don't have that much room. Anyway. So I decided, you know, I've got a little bit of money. I'm going to buy a proper power supply. So when I typed in the name of this camera, this is what I got. This is the exact camera that I'm holding. 250 bucks. Still. This camera is an eight-year-old model. Again, I did my research before I bought it. And I bought it from a very nice young man who, and I paid a little bit over a hundred. So, okay, I'll tell the truth. I paid 110. I gotta, you know, look for deals, people. Like, really, seriously. Don't buy the first thing that pops up on your screen. Just, just, I just can't believe it. This is the price that they're going for. Um, there's a reason, however, that they're still at that price. Because they've made a few models after this. And all the reviews, I'll, I'll link my favorite uh, Tech Geek people review under here of, of the higher versions. They still don't beat this camera. 
I got locked out. And, um, yeah, thanks, um, Justin. I, I asked you about this, and you said, uh, you gained some pointers on that, so, thanks. Wow. So, yeah, now I'm, I'm on my way to buy a proper power supply for it before I, you know, screw the insides of this thing.